Hi friends. Welcome to 30 Inks, 30 Days. Day oh, 10. I'm gonna leave this here. First full week complete. Turning the page to day 10. Here we are. Um, <clears throat> starting off with the yesterday splat. Yeah, gorgeous. I don't like this part, but it kind of looks like a person with a pointy hat. Putting out a fire. Uh, or something. Uh, anyway, I liked that. Um, it wrote pretty well. I still feel brave putting a shimmer in that kind of pen, but I think um, I'll try and use it up quickly and clean it out quickly. Today's pen and ink, well, we'll start with the ink. That is Diamine Claret. And the pen is the Bennu Euphoria in the color Rose Tea. Uh, the pen is already inked, so we don't have to deal with that, but there's still a lot of other stuff that we do have to do. First, let me pre-wet my pink brush. Have to do, I say. Get to do, I mean. Um, <clears throat> my voice just kind of went all scratchy, not sure why. Uh, I don't have any fancy drink t today, although obviously I should have rose tea, but I don't like the way roses smell, <clears throat> let alone taste. I do, however, have the ubiquitous water. I could have had claret, but I don't have any claret. I'd have, I'd have pulled this out for sure. <clears throat> no doubt about it. Whereas a friend of mine used to say, no bow to doubt it. Okay, so this, do we, we yeah. Diamine Claret. Um, and this is the Binu and Gule Euphoria with a medium nib. Oh, in rose tea. I don't know if these were like limited or just special because when I last looked, it was sold out, but I think they've restocked the other ones like uh, matcha and Earl Grey. So maybe they'll restock this. I don't know. I got it and the cross the lines this way were a little bit tight and the flow wasn't what I expected. So I flossed the tines. I just put a brass shim in here and pulled it through. And I put the nib to a little bit of micro mesh because when I looked up close at it, it did resemble slightly a peach. So I smoothed that too. And that has really helped. This is a, a fantastic writing experience now. And I'm not upset that I had to do something with the nib. It was mild. I could have written with it as it was, but um, it wasn't as I had expected from Banu because their pins are always so juicy, which is my preference. If you prefer a drier writing experience, well, go somewhere else. You could probably squeeze the tines. This is just bogus. What have I done to this? I suspect now the two things don't touch very well. Um, we were talking, I, this is not the color that Clara is for the record. Maybe it is in England and where diamine is based. Certainly know that they're, the ink that you see on their TV, sh or the ink, the wine you see on their TV shows does not look like the wine we get here. It looks like 
water and red food coloring or something. So maybe that's where they're getting it from, but I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Not Claret at all. Beautiful. Although Claret is just like a mix. Whatever. Shut up. Let's move on. 30 inks. 30 days. So if you say red blend, you're like, oh. But if you say Claret or Meritage, you're like, oh, I see. That's a, mm -hmm. June. Twenty twenty four, day ten, ink, diamine. There's been a lot of diamine going on right now, but I've picked tomorrow's ink. It's not diamine, so that'll be nice. Ten. Gulad, Euphoria, Rose Tea, Medium. Sorry about that, Gulad. Oh, I didn't prep for the splat. Amanda showed how to do this in one of her videos sort of recently. Well, I say sort of recently. It's probably the third. But, you know, you pull up some ink as little as possible, really, and push it back in. And just what's left there is enough for the splat most of the time, unless you're being exorbitant or exuberant profligate in your ink usage. I love the word profligate. It's fun to say. Question. Do you know what the weeble wobbles are? I don't know where that came from, but I just was wondering. I suppose maybe I thought this looked a bit like a weeble wobble being shot. <laughs> Look, I don't know. Who knows what darkness lurks in the mind of Maria. The weeble wobbles know. Claire is just one of like the normal standard. Um, oh god, I over tightened the pin. Um, diamond colors, by the way, not like an exclusive collaboration, just a standard. Oh, the cat with one eye. One day my owls will have something to say to you. Sorry. I don't know if this actually is missing an eye, but I, I love it. It's there. Oh. This is dried. Wow, it's like changed color. Hold on. Now, admittedly, this is cream. This is not, but can you see the difference? Maybe. I don't know. Can we look at this pen again a little bit? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I reckon I need to look at that pen again. Mm -hmm. Okay, clear it. I 
I caught my partner watching my videos. Well, he had it playing. He was actually not in there at the time. But I was like, aw, thanks. Thanks for giving me views. And he's like, when's the one where Arnold visited? <laughs> I had to find that for him. I was like, do you want to watch it on my phone? No. Okay. <laughs> there. We had to we had to be a little more generous. Okay. Pitter-patter of dog feet. Ah, The cat has two eyes now. I should have left it so you could watch it opening its eyes. Ooh, this is such a gorgeous ink. It shades pretty nicely. I actually um already, since I knew I was going to use this, and I inked the pen for the unboxing, I already did my writing in it. I have to say, I love what's happening to this. It's the un whatevered, unfinished, but then I put a leather polish on it. This is what it looked like before. Anyway, it still smells like leather mostly. Here's the longer writing. Before I did anything with the nib, you can see the bottom, there was kind of a lot of hand oil. Oh, that was like the most spoilery thing to show you. Don't pay attention to the writing. <laughs> um, here we are. We reached the end of another 30 inks video with our beautiful... You know, that's what's cool that it just hit me is this whole combination is drinking, drink inspired, right? We got rose tea and claret. Heck yeah. That's dope. I made a joke about how the writing was upside down in the unboxing video for this. And a few people kindly pointed out to me, it's because you're left-handed. Friends, I appreciate you. I know that's why. But I'm pointing out that if they chose to put the writing around the cap, in this direction, it would be equally simple or difficult to read no matter which hand you hold it in, rather than making it unnecessarily right-handed. Um, that's the rant I didn't know that I was going to have, but I really do appreciate those of you who spoke up and said something because it was sort of a sarcastic comment on my part, and I know sarcasm doesn't come across well for everyone. And so my bad on that, and I apologize. And so thank you for those who pointed that out. Uh, I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. Bye.